It's Movie Time is produced by John DeSando. See the shows and re-reviews online at wcbe.org. I'm John DeSando. I'm Wayne Miller. I'm Wayne Miller. <laughs> John, I think there's a wasp in here. <laughs> no. Uh, it's in there. This is a pretty hermetically sealed place. It's been that way at least for 100 years. I haven't seen a wasp in that. But you must be talking about it. Ant-Man and the Wasp on yes. the screen. On the screen. Oh. And, uh, and what's cool about it, the Wasp is the very first female superhero in the Marvel Cinematic Universe to be a part of the title. Yeah, all right. And I think, my feeling, yeah. she's the best thing in the whole movie, and she deserves a standalone movie. Now, this is Evangeline Lilly? Yes, uh, one of the elves in the, like, the Lord of the Ring movies and stuff. Yeah, we put that over. I'm afraid. I, your mic. Oh. Go. Oh, go over toward you if you can. I don't know if that darn thing would. Can you turn it? Oh. I guess not. Yeah. Okay, okay. Good, good. How's that? Yeah. Well, she's the best thing in the movie for me, Evangeline Lilly. And people would remember her. I remember her mostly from, uh, she's one of the stars of the TV series Lost. Excellent job with that, but mm -hmm. also one of the elves. And one of the things that I really noticed, uh, the one time, the one Oscar-winning movie, The Hurt Locker, and she played Jeremy Renner's wife back on the home front. In that oh, movie. that's good. But you know, yeah, you're, of course, you're, you're always, you're always, uh, um, you're always somewhat interested in the younger actresses. You see them as coming up. <laughs> but I'm in love with Michelle Pfeiffer. <laughs> All right. But the, well, the actress who's, even more impressive, I think, than eventually is Michelle Pfeiffer, regardless of how much dusting they do on her face. Well, the dusting, but also that uh, here with her gray hair, and she'd been lost. And this is what the one thing about the movie I found it confusing to keep up. I, I just sat back and I thought, I'm just going to enjoy the special <laughs> effects and the interplay between. Um, uh, the, uh, a lot of the characters, especially Paul Rudd with his ex-wife and her uh, new husband or boyfriend or whatever, and uh, some of his buddies like Michael Pena has been in the uh, was in the first yeah. movie. That's some of the best parts of it, as well as with Michael Douglas. And they didn't drag Michelle Pfeiffer out until really near the end. That's right. Yeah. She's actually the first Wasp. The very first Wasp. And I've got an idea, John. You know because. Uh, we've got two competing superhero franchises. We've got the MCU, the uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe, and then we've got the DC Comics one with right. Superman and Batman right, right. and Wonder Woman and stuff like that. I think it'd be cool to have the first uh, star who would be not a crossover character but play two different roles, the Wasp, and I think Evangeline Lilly would do a great job as Catwoman. And what would be cool, in fact, I'm going to call... Uh, maybe your son out in Hollywood could help me uh, contact somebody and say, hey, have a standalone movie with the Catwoman, uh, with Evangeline Lilly, with Michelle Pfeiffer, the original Catwoman <laughs> in the movies, oh, oh, that's right. play her mom, <laughs> as she played her mom in this movie. Well, then what happens to my, my Black Widow from the other side? Oh, that's true, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She deserves a standalone movie, you know, Scarlett Johansson. Yes. Scarlett Johansson. Yes. yes. All right. But So I suspected from some of your comments that the plot's not crystal clear here. <laughs> and this was even after a couple more teenies. I, mean, you know, I, I, I really tried to pay attention, but we've got several different sets of villains, and one kind of intriguingly, the ghost, played by... Hannah John yeah, Kuhlman, right. I believe, is her name. That's and, right. Uh, uh, she would make an interesting one, but boy, they did not do much with her. You know, and then, of course, we've got the guy who always steals every scene he's in. Walt Walt Ga Goggins. Goggins. <laughs> yes. This is a sunny, very fun. sunny birch. Yes. <laughs> with some uh, very bad teeth. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, but here... It's trying to like, okay, what are they trying to do? One, they wanted to try to rescue after 30 years in this quantum realm or whatever. I guess, you know, they get little tiny, you know, so small. And, of course, they're there and seeing all the, like, the little bacteria, you know, and amoebas floating around or whatever. But uh, Michelle's been kind of stuck in that 
for about 30 years. Yeah, it is, this, this is what they call the quantum realm. Yes. And I have no idea what, what they're talking about. Yes. <laughs> and then they're trying to steal all the other stuff and basically, like, carry all the luggage. And the huge <laughs> building is shrunk down. Yeah, they didn't and, shrink the building, right? The, the, the laboratory? Yes, <laughs> yes, with a little pop-up handle that they can wheel around like they're going to put it in the overhead bin. That is kind of cute. Yeah. That, well, that's... That's the main thing about the movie. You could sum it up with one word, cute. <laughs> Even right down near the end when they're, it seems like they're at a uh, drive-in theater, but they're, here they are in the, like little matchbox box cars, like a drive-in movie, oh, yes. lined up in front of a laptop watching a movie. But that's the thing. It was cute. Yeah. And it was very cute with the little cars and how they could shrink but also get big. Yeah, and, uh, yeah and I think that that's another thing that they've added. Where where um, Ant Man can go to sixty five feet tall. Yes, he's uh, wading out there in the bay and scaring the people yeah. on the ferry boat. So that's kind of an interesting little twist. It's not just all small. Yes, uh, we can we can get tall if we want. And something like they had some sort of like a flavor flag giant clock type of thing or whatever that on their that that they can dial to go oh, get that's smaller. Right, right. Uh, yeah. You know the other thing that that struck me that I like about this well. I preface that by saying I am so happy we don't have any bloody fights or blasts out of any proportion like in the other no. part of the universe. This one is quiet by comparison. Yes, quiet. And secondly, they're not safe in the universe. I mean, there's no big. I don't know. I mean, they're trying to get a hold of Michelle Pfeiffer, with, yeah. which I, I, half I, the male population is trying to do, yeah. and bring her <laughs> back. And she's looking like. Linda Boss, for Christ's sake, yeah. you know, no wonder. <laughs> you're right, you're right. I thought she looked familiar. She's our buddy, Lenny. <laughs> so, you know, so it's, I think it, you, you, you've said it's cute, it's it's fun. Yeah. It, it's summertime. Yes. And it goes along, I was thinking the other day, I said, it, it's summer, you know, people love going to, like, the county fairs and the state fair and stuff like that to eat all sorts of junk food. Basically, the, this is cinematic junk food for the summer. <laughs> you know, it is. You know, you're not, you know, uh, there's probably stuff there if you dug deep enough, but my God, it is. It's like, you know, a bunch of, uh, uh, you know, alligator on a sticks uh, or fried pickles at the <laughs> county fair. All right, Wayne Miller. <laughs> I'm just we not sure we have anything else to say. I, I don't know. Uh, I would recommend it as a fun movie. Yeah. And I, I would give it a C plus. All right. Because you know, so it was enjoyable. Ant-Man and the Wasp. C plus. Yeah, I would award it a B. Because for what it is, I think yep. it, I, I've certainly enjoyed it. Yep. And I, I, I'm feeling better about my picnic this summer. Yep. Right. <laughs> and, and, and I don't expect... That people will get stung by going to see yeah. <laughs> Oh, God, there's a book. Oh, oh my. Uh-oh. Oh, he, no. he had a little costume and a helmet on. Oh, there goes the franchise. <laughs>